And new tonight, a Sacramento family has growing concerns about loved ones in Tonga following the volcanic disaster there. Yeah, communication lines are still down and they haven't been able to reach anyone to make sure they're safe. The Tongan people need help. Penny Tutafu was born in Tonga and worries about his family still left in the Pacific Island nation hit hard by a volcanic eruption. I believe they might uh, have a hard time for, for a long time before they they get back to a normal life. His son, Asapelli, has a wife and a one-year-old daughter in Tonga. I'm very concerned about them, um, especially not knowing what's going on there. The disaster made worse by a lack of communication after the country's main undersea phone and internet cable was destroyed in the explosion. Usually I call them every night to see, check up on them. But now, one week after the eruption, He's still not able to make contact. Uh, I try every day, every uh, every day when I come back home from work, try to give them a call. For me, uh, seeing those pictures is just just hurt, you know. Tepeti Tupulotu has not been able to reach his parents or siblings. It's been a week, haven't heard anything from them. Many of their questions remain unanswered, and now their concern turns to the small country's infrastructure collapsing. I know the volcano caused a lot of problems. To the water. Most of the food, uh, Tonga, they, they just raise their own crop and what has happened, it destroyed all of it. As international aid begins to arrive, the hope is that their loved ones are safe and the islands start to rebuild. Right now, we're just hoping for a fast recovery. And the family is also helping raise money locally to help in recovery efforts.